Hello everybody, welcome back. This is episode 8 of uh, my series on making an idle slash clicker game in uh, Unity. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do offline progress. So if you stop playing your game for like a couple hours or something, you can come back and your idle points will still be there. Uh, it'll be playing basically while you're away from your game. Uh, so let's just get right into it. It's not too difficult. It's a little bit uh, confusing if it's your first time or whatever like that doing something like this. But I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll try and do it as simple as I can. So first off, before we get into any coding, I'm just going to make a new panel. So that, sh that pops up at the beginning. That shows you how much points you've earned and how long you've been away and so on. So let's just get the uh, get that aspect out of the way first. So let's hop down here to UI, make a panel. I'm just going to resize this a little bit so it doesn't take up the full screen. I'm going to rename this to uh, Offline Earnings Panel. And then let's just make this more visible here. Just pick a color from the screen somewhere. There we go. That works. So let's make a few texts on here. So UI, Legacy Text. And I'm just going to put uh, welcome back as the text. Change the size to, whoops. Uh, drop that a little bit, maybe 34. Okay, let's try that. Okay, and then let's make another text. This one will be, uh, you were away for. So as a text, you were away for. Drag this down a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, maybe 20, yeah, that's fine. Leave that there. And then we're going to make another text, which is going to display the time that we have, but we're not actually going to input the time here yet. So we're just going to name this uh, time offline. Drag this down underneath. And just make it a bit longer so we know it'll fit properly. <coughs> then just Copy these two, bring them down, and this is going to display how much, how many points you got while you were away. So let's go, uh, you earned. And so, while offline, you earned. And then, offline points. Okay. And then so let's just make a button to close this after we uh, see our earnings. Bring it to the bottom here somewhere. I'm just going to resize it a little bit. Change the text. So let's put, uh, I don't know, claim, I guess. That's, that's pretty common. Change that. There we go. Let's add the, the font that we added in the last episode to our uh, text objects here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to some of them, but not all of them. So the time offline and the points that we earn, I'm not gonna do it. There we go. So now let's add the text to our button or the font, and let's add the sprite for our button, which we also added in the last episode. So there we go. <clears throat> there's that so that's pretty much our panel is finished now we just need to do a little bit of coding and make this thing function so let's just go to our scripts folder create a new C sharp script and I'm gonna name it offline progress uh, make a new empty create empty over here name it offline progress handler and then just drag our script that we just made on there 
And so open up that script. And we're not going to need the update. You can just delete that all together. Uh, but let's make a few text uh, variables here. So first off, let's just import unityengine.ui. And we're also going to need to be using system. So this would uh, this will let us get the time that's on our computer. So first off, all right at the top here, let's make some text. Like I said, so public text, um, offline time text. So this will say how long we were offline, and we'll do public text points gained text. Then we also need to add a game object to toggle uh, the panel on and off. So we'll do public game object offline panel. <coughs> and so right at the start, uh, we're going to actually let's skip that for now. We'll uh, we need to make sure that we capture the time of our PC when we exit the game. So Unity actually has a function that does this for us. Well, to an extent, it, it, it calls something when the game exits. So, and that's called uh, on application quit. So private void on application quit. This will be called as soon as the application, the, as soon as your game closes, basically. So what we need to do is save the time. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Just do player prefs dot set string. And then that string will be, we'll name this, uh, exit time I guess and then that would be set to date time dot now dot to string there we go and so on start we need to get this time and set it so we're gonna do date time uh, last time like that equals Okay, we can't just take the string because the string isn't gonna be proper. Uh, we have to set it as a type of a daytime, a date time type. It won't take the string, so we have to actually do date time dot parse, and then in here we need to get the string. So it'll be player press dot get string, and then exit time, just like we have down there. Okay, so now if we actually, okay, let's uh, let's make an if statement to put this in actually. So if player press dot has key exit time. So if, if the player's save game actually has an exit time already, so it's not their first time playing, then it will do all of this. If it's their first time playing, it won't pop up. So let's do else. And so right at the beginning here, we want to do offline panel dot set active true. So this will make it so as soon as you start the game, the panel will be active and we can see uh, our time that we were away and whatnot like that. Uh, so then it's going to get the last time that we were on. And we also need to get the time that it says right now. So that would be date time and we'll name that current time equals date time dot now just like that and so we need to compare the current time with the time that we last exited the game and to do this we can do time span and um, we'll just name that uh, I don't know, time away and then that will be equal to current time minus last time so it'll take the time that we have right now and minus it from the last time that we were on and that'll give us how long we were away for so now that we have that uh, let's actually come down here and just copy paste this down here but set it to false whoops so basically if there is an exit time it'll do everything normally if there is no exit time it just won't even activate the panel so now that we have the time that we were away we need to display those times so we're going to set the text of you know our panel to that time and those 
uh, points that we have. <coughs> so we'll do offline time text dot text equals, and then what we're going to do is we're going to format this actually. So we're going to do string dot format brackets. And then inside here, do some quotations, and we'll have these cur curly brackets, and we'll do zero like that. And then we'll do days. And then the same thing with only one, and then that'll be hours, two minutes, three seconds. And then to tell you know Unity what these variables are, we need to set the, the times accordingly within this format. So basically, the first thing that we set here will be zero, the second thing will be one, and so on and so forth. So in order to do this, we just do time away dot days, time away dot hours, whoops, minutes, seconds. So what that's going to do is, is it's going to take the days that we've been away, display it here, the hours we've been away, set it here, and so on and so forth. So that's our text finished. That's pretty pretty easy. <clears throat> so now we need to calculate the points that we've gained. So what we're going to do is actually, uh, we're going to set the text first. So the text will be points gain text dot text equals. And then we're going to, this, this gets a little bit tricky, I guess. Uh, just try and follow along. I, guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, just do game object dot find object of type. And then dot idle one upgrade amount because that's how much we're getting per second. And then we're going to multiply that by time away. Oops dot total seconds and oh we need to do dot two string of course because this is a string so dot two string quotation zero 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 like that uh, oh okay yeah we got to put this in brackets and then make the whole thing two string there we go Put it all in brackets and at the end put two string 0.00, .00 and that should work fine. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to actually give the player the the, the, the score or the points that he's supposed to have. So we run <coughs> we need to do game object uh, find object of type, game manager script, whoops dot score. We'll do plus equals game object dot find object of type game manager script dot idle one upgrade amount times time away dot total seconds and so okay yeah and that's gonna make it a double so we actually need to put all of this in brackets this side here. <coughs> Then at the front, just do float like that. So let's put float in brackets and then the rest of it. And then uh, that'll convert it to a float because our score is a float, not a double. So we just convert the double to a float and we're good to go. And so I believe that would be it. Let's just test this real quick. I might have, I may have missed something. I'm not 100%, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. So we need to go into our offline progress handler here and we need to drag these texts and the panel over. So just offline earnings panel, drag that. Uh, offline time text, so time offline right here. And points gained, so offline points. And then we can actually just disable this panel. And uh, now that we have it specified over here, it'll do what it needs to do from there. Okay, there we go. So, if we're away for so long, it'll say we've been away. So I've been away for three seconds. 
Let me see something. Uh, so we should be getting, we should be getting a score for this because we've got 8.2 per second. We're away for four seconds, but we're not getting, oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I know why. So basically what's happening is it's loading the default value before this is getting a chance to calculate. So what we need to do is actually in our save load here, we need to, I think it's save load. Yeah, in our save load, uh, instead of start here, change this to awake. Because basically what's happening is this is setting, well, this will set the time, but it's, it's displaying and calculating the time away before it gets a chance to actually load our time. So it's just going to calculate that we've been away for zero seconds, even though it's, it knows better. Uh, so if we just change this to awake, that should fix the problem. So let's just try that again. There we go. So we're getting 8.2 per second. We were away for exactly one minute, actually, and we earned 498. And so just to test the calculations here on this, let's do 8.2 times 60, because we were away for 60 seconds, and 492. Well, 498.99, close enough. So yeah. Oh, we forgot to, uh, <laughs> we, we forgot to make the button actually close the menu. Uh, so in our offline progress, let's just come down here and make a new function real quick. Do public void uh, close offline panel. Whoops. And all we got to do is just take the, the set active and make it false. And then assign that to our button. So click on your button down here. Add an on-click event, drag the offline progress handler over here, and then find your close offline panel that we just made, and you should be good to go. Let's try that again, see how much we've earned. So we earned 387 while we were away for 47 seconds. If we click claim, there we go. And so just let's just test this thing real quick. I made a quick bind just to reset all the, uh, the stats just for testing purposes. So here we go. We're back to uh, back to the start again. So if I quickly, if I make us level ten, so we can unlock the uh, unlock the idol upgrade. Where are we? Player level. There we go. Or level five, I guess. And then boost our score up a bit, so we can actually buy that. So we can see now we basically have 70. So let's just pause this for a quick second. And so now when we click back into this, if it's going correctly, we should have over 70. We should have like 74 or 75 or something like that. <clears throat> so let's just test. And there we go. Yeah, 76. So yeah, it's working pretty good. It's working fine. So yeah, I'll leave that one here. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you like these kinds of videos, and I'll see you guys next time.